Okay, everybody, let's make a transparent text watermark. I'm going to go rather quickly so we can get you through the tutorial, but you can always stop, pause along the way. Let's just call it a, a T logo, transparent. I work at a 4x4 four four and in inches, 300 dpi, RGB 8 bit white. Very simple. Get your text tool, start typing. Uh, let's just make uh, an F and an 8. How original. There we go. V to move. Select both layers. Center it. Control T. I'm going to drag it. Stretch it out. Say OK. There I say I want to throw a little uh, copy right in there. So come down and make a little one here. Alt-0169 is your copyright symbol, 2011, say OK. V to move, Let's throw that right in there. OK, Let's select them all, center that up. OK, now we're ready to uh, make these transparent. Double click on your F layer and add a little drop shadow. You can do this to taste, but I know this is going to work, 25, 25, and I 20 on the bevel, say OK. This part you'll like, hit Alt, drag your effects to your number 8. And you don't have to, uh, you don't have to uh, retype everything. Just, like I said, hit Alt, grab your effects, drag and drop. 2011 is not going to use the same setting, so let's just create our own for that. For the drop shuttle, we'll give it a 5, a 5, and a 50. And it just makes a little one and throw uh, a little bevel on it just to give it a little texture. And that's pretty much it. We're going to come over to fill on all these layers and bring it to zero. Zero and zero. That's it. There's our transparent watermark. Now, if we save this, we're going to end up with a white background. We don't want the white background, so just come over and delete it. Or you could throw it in your trash can. Now we're ready to save as a PNG. PNG allows for transparency. Let's create a folder on our desktop called Logos and put it in there and we're good to go. Now what I want to do, I want to take you over to Lightroom and I want to show you how to get that in to Lightroom. So I'm going to switch over. There we go. And first thing we'll do, very easy, say export. I'm going to go to my Facebook settings just to make this quick. Choose my folder. It's going to be my desktop under logos. And let's see what we've got here. My desktop logos. Put it inside there. The only difference when we come to watermark, we're going to edit watermark. And we're going to choose our logo we just made. There it is choose voila now too small I want to center it I want to make it nice and big so they don't copy your work go right ahead and we're gonna call that a big T logo create now we export now that that's gone let's take you over to uh, see that image and let's get you back to the right screen and take you to the desktop. There we go. And there's our logo folder. And there's our image. Perfect. Hope you enjoyed it, guys.